welcome once again in the class of energy and environmental engineering so we'll continue with the solid waste management i am mr s s ogule assistant professor civil engineering department so far we have seen the uh, what is waste kind of waste then classification and sources of it structure then uh, the asian scenario and the indian scenario uh, the growth of solid waste in india then waste collection then what are the problems uh, regarding this waste collection and how these things have affected us and the health impacts of this solid waste we will continue further so the methods of disposals are one is the landfill so it is the most traditional method of the waste disposal so waste is directly dumped into the uh, disused quarries mining voids or bore pits etc so the disposal waste is com uh, compacted and covered with the soil the gases generated by the decomposing waste material are often burnt to generate the power and it is generally used for the domestic waste so you might have seen uh, as i told you earlier in the nearby cities like itselkaranji uh, sangli miras we have the uh, those landfill areas nearby uh, or the outside of the uh, village uh, village or the a city so uh, and this is the traditional method that they are collecting the waste and uh, keeping it outside but uh, sometimes what has been uh, what has happened uh, they are compacted and covering it with it with soil uh, generally the power generation by using this uh, waste material is not that much in uh, or not that much famous or adopted by our country so it is not there still and um, because of the plastic and uh, non degradable material it is again now there are so many question marks on all these things then the what are the advantage advantages of this thing it is the uh, cheap waste disposal option for the local council job can be created by um, putting the uh, local people on the job for the segregation then collection then disposal all these things can be uh, the job creating things then lot of different types of waste can be disposed by of by landfill in cooperation with other disp other waste disposal methods then the gases are given off by the landfill site could be collected and used for generation of power so these are the advantages of uh, the landfill uh, then what are the disadvantages the site will look ugly while it has been used for the landfill so obviously there are so many problems with this landfill areas and uh, uh, if you take the example of the now itselkarnji landfill areas so many locality has been developed uh, near this landfill area and th that locality facing so many problems because of this uh, landfill then the dangerous gases are given off from landfill then cause local air pollution and contribute to the global warming then local streams could become a polluted with toxins seeping through the ground from landfill uh, from the landfill side so uh, we have discussed this thing uh, at so many times that uh, so many toxic gases uh, or toxins uh, will leaching through uh, all these things and it will uh, pollute the ground water table or the soil because of this landfill once the site is filled it might not be able to be used for redevelopment as it might be too polluted so this reclaimed soil uh, thing or this soil cannot be used for so many uh, other purpose because uh, because of these toxins in the uh, particular that soil on that soil and uh, uh, the soil water can be contaminated ground water can be contaminated by uh, this particular dumping or the dump site Uh, so these kind of problems are there uh, once we are using the site for land building so here you can see the land required for disposal uh, of municipal solid waste so in 1997 it is somewhat less then again it goes on increasing now it is 1400 km square area in uh, will be required in uh, 2047 right now it is something near about 400 but as per this increasing rate we can see 
it will up, go up to uh, 1400 km square and the countries like us which is having more less area and more population so it is very very difficult to provide this landfill site for uh, uh, this much site for the landfill now what are the methane emissions million tons per year so from 1997 and estimated at 2047 this is the particular thing right now we are somewhere here that is 15 million tons per year it will go up to 40 million tons per year so this is the again emission of methane for uh, from the landfill and which will again help into the which is the greenhouse gas and which will help into the uh, this uh, uh, global warming thing and again uh, th this will cause so many problems again now incineration so the incineration is a waste treatment process that involves the combustion of solid waste at 1000 degree celsius so the waste material are converted into ash flue gas and heat the ash mostly formed by inorganic constituents of waste and gases due to the organic waste the heat generated by incineration is used for the generated electric power so basically it is nothing but the burning of the particular uh, uh, that waste burning of the particular and that can be used for generate the electric power but it is, it is also not a popular method because it tends to again the pollution um, or it will create the pollution that's why it is not that much uh, favorable in case of this environmental so here you can see this uh, steam is used to propel the uh, turbines to generate the electricity so these things can be done by incineration so what are the advantages of this thing so minimum of land is needed compared to the other disposal method the weight of waste is reduced to 25% uh, of the initial value because of this uh, ash and uh, this gases it, we had, it has been reduced to 25% no risk of polluting local streams and ground, groundwater uh, remember local streams and groundwater is there it, uh, it has nothing to do with the air quality then incineration plants can be located close to the resident area because of uh, no landfills are there so it can be located near land uh, residential area but again that air pollution problems are there and these gases are used to generate the power and second the uh, disadvantages are there and it, it is expensive it requires skilled labor then chemical that would release into air those can be a uh, strong pollutants and they may destroy ozone layer this is the major disadvantage and high energy requirement is there for the burning of this thing so these all are the disadvantages for particular this incineration plant and next the compaction the waste is compacted or compressed and also break up into large or fragile items of waste the process is conspicuous in the feed at the back end of many garbage collection vehicles the deposit refuse to bot, uh, bottom of slope and the, for the base compaction and control of blowing litter. So this is the conspicuous method and uh, you yeah, have oftenly seen uh, there are so many garbage collections are there and these things at, uh, is there to particularly at their, uh, on the machines but uh, again uh, we have to give the good slope for that uh, machine to for the best compaction and as well as the uh, for this control of blowing litter then pyrolysis so pyrolysis is defined as the thermal degradation of waste and in absence of air to produce the char, produce char pyrolysis oil and syn gas uh, so example given is the conversion of wood to charcoal is also defined as the destructive distillation of waste in absence of oxygen so the external source of heat is employed in this process so here you can see the these things that is pretreatment of biomass is there then this is the pyrolysis reactor so ash can be come over here this is the air inlet this is the combustor this is recycled gas 
and these are the raw gases this is the char collection is there this is the char collector then this is the quench system and this is the bio oil storage so this is some kind of this uh, thermal degradation of the waste to produce the char pyrolysis oil and sea gas so this is the again char collection in detail quench system is there raw gases and recycle gases this is the bio uh, oil is been at the bottom and we can take it out from this particular uh, uh, storage and the final that is 3 hours that is reduce reuse and recycle so first is reduce you can help by pre cycling one third of all garbage is packing by things that are in package and that can be recycled or made up of recycled material then when you buy something small say no to say no thanks to the bag so you cannot borrow the bag while you buying anything particularly these small small things we can uh, we can do uh, to reduce the consumption then reuse many things can be reused before you throw them out use the coffee cans and cottage cheese containers for storage use bags of the papers or bags of used envelopes for the notes then put leftovers in resealable containers instead of uh, using the wraps and foils then use the old clothes as rugs for cleaning instead of paper towel so uh, and have garage sale or donate clothes books or toys if you are don't use anymore so these are the reuse or donating the things uh, instead of throwing them out then recycle so each year we use 25 billion plastic containers 30 billion bottles and jars 65 billion aluminum cans and 100 billion forms of paper so these things can be recycled because plastic can be recycled a glass can be recycled then aluminum can be recycled and paper also can be a recycled so all these things can be recycled and by using this we can uh, reduce the pollution or the we can effectively utilize this solid waste collection so these are the three r's for the less consumption of less consumption uh, reuse the thing and recycle the thing so this is so what is the conclusion from all this uh, solid waste management study it is found that with the increase in global population and raising demand of food and other essentials there has been rise in amount of waste being generated daily for by each household waste that cannot be properly managed especially extra and other liquid and solid waste from the household and the community are serious health hazards and lead to spread of infectious disease <clears throat> so these are the references for uh, the solid waste management thank you we will continue with the uh, thermal pollution now which is the last part of our syllabus so now we will begin with the last part that is thermal pollution again once again i would like to thank mr mh mota uh, for being helpful in all this such uh, that uh, presentations on all those things thank you so the thermal pollution is harmful increase in water temperature in streams rivers lake and occasionally the coastal ocean water it is degradation of water quality by any process that change the ambient water temperature a temperature increase as small as 1 to 2 degrees celsius about 2 to 4 fahrenheit degrees can kill native fish shell, shellfish and plants and drive them in favor of other species often with undesirable effects so what are the causes the major sources of thermal pollution are electric power plants and industrial factories the another cause of the use of water as a coolant by power plants and industrial manufacturers when water is used as a coolant and return to the natural environment at higher temperature it changes the temperature decreases the oxygen supply and affects the ecosystem composition when a power plant first opens and shuts down 
for repair and other causes fish and other organisms adapted to particular temperature range can killed by abrupt change in the water temperature known as the thermal shock the streams and small lakes are naturally kept cool by trees and other tall plants that block sunlight the people often remove the shading vegetation in order to harvest the wood from the trees to make the room for crops and for construct buildings roads or other structures even the removal of vegetation far away from the stream or lake can contribute the thermal pollution by speeding up the erosion of the soil into water and making it muddy all plants and animal species that live in the water are adapted to temperature within a certain range same like us uh, that is we cannot go higher of, uh, in higher temperature as well as in lower temperature only with the uh, some kind of uh, material that is clothes of different kinds we can sustain in the increasing and decreasing temperature but if this change is more then we cannot survive for the uh, conditions so this can harm aquatic animals such as fish amphibians and other aquatic organisms thermal pollution may also increase the metabolic rate of aquatic animals as enzyme activity resulting in these organisms consuming more food in shorter time if the air environment were not changed some organisms do thrive in the warm water often with undesirable effect algae and other plant grow more rapidly in warm water than the cold but they also die more rapidly so these are the impacts of this uh, thermal pollution then primary producers are affected by warm water because the higher water temperature increase the plant growth rates resulting in a shorter life span and species overpopulation a temperature change of even 1 or 2 degree celsius can cause significant change in organism metabolism and other adverse cellular body uh, biology effects principal adverse changes can include rendering cell walls less permeable to necessary osmosis coagulation of cell proteins and alteration of enzyme metabolism so this is the change in the organism metabolism and other cellular biology effects then how we can control this thing so the thermal pollution from power plants and factories is relatively easy to control instead of discharging heated water into the lakes and streams water plant and factories can pass the heated water through the cooling towers or cooling ponds where evaporation cools the water before it is discharged alternatively the water plants can be designed or refitted to be more efficient and to produce less waste heat in first place now in the united states about 75 to 82% thermal pollution is generated by power plants the remainder is from the industrial source such as petroleum refineries pulp and paper mills chemical plants steel mills smelters heated water can be source uh, from this source may be controlled with the cooling ponds as i told you earlier man made bodies of water designed for the cooling by the evaporation convection and radiation then uh, by cooling towers we transfer the waste heat to the atmosphere through evaporation and or heat transfer then cogeneration the process which can where waste heat can be recycled for domestic or industrial heating purpose so in the colder region uh, these kind of uh, requirements are there that we need the heat to um, increase the temperature at house so uh, instead of uh, burning something or uh, using some electrical equipment we can use this sort of water that is heated water for the same purpose and the thermal pollution is de- uh, from de vegetation is quite hard to control because it is caused by the cumulative effect of many people action so most of the which are individually minor so there should be implemented laws that will help to control conserve and protect the resources to counter the thermal pollution to uh, 
prevent thermal pollution due to devegetation the prescription is simple do not devegetate all efforts to control the erosion are have the effect of keeping water clearer and thus cooler in united states the problem of industrial thermal pollution is first addressed in 1970 when congress gave the atomic atomic energy commission authority to regulate the thermal pollution from the nuclear power plants in 1972 the comprehensive clean water act is instructed in the environmental protection agency to issue regulations to clean up the all hot water discharge from all power plants nuclear or conventional since then thermal pollution from water power plants has not been a major issue in united states so uh basically in 1970 they have started all these things and still they are not in a phase of doing the these things so or even we haven't solved or we do not have the 24 hours water supply in so uh, in might have the 100% uh, uh, con- uh, in our country we don't have the 24 hours water supply uh, cleaner water supply uh, even the some of the houses still don't have electricity uh, don't have the water supply so uh, still we are uh, in hunt of all these things or we are behind all these things so uh, this might be the uh, these might be the causes uh, or we are still facing the some some uh, some basic problems so we are not um, dived into all these things or these kind of pollution still yet so uh, but as the time comes we have to make the act for all these things all the pollutions that we have seen uh, through this particular environmental engineering so for that all those uh, slowly we are starting but uh, we need to pick the pace otherwise um, in uh, the cities like pune mumbai delhi uh, the condition is so worse the, the people are living uh, in so much uh, bad conditions not the livable conditions are there uh, but they are compromising and uh, uh, likewise um, that i think i had uh, heard the commercial that is um, adjust mari that is we people are uh, very good at adjusting but this is not the way or the uh, area that we have to adjust the things uh, so we have to uh, just like i remember one thing and in this pandemic situation also uh, i this heard uh, or the thing that came into the mind that is uh, uh, given by the mahatma gandhi ji that is move towards the villages but instead of we have move towards urbanization and right now we are facing so many problems and now we can see in this pandemic covid 19 situation so many people have moved towards their origin that is to the villages so if some ecosystem or local system was there so this uh, havoc that is uh, this pandemic situation will not be that much worse in our country so we need to think on it uh, and do the right things that is developing the local solutions and uh, de- develop the local uh, this particular uh, ecosystem to survive so thank you uh, for patiently listening all these things and uh, we have the responsibility of the um, keeping the this planet earth as it is so i hope we will uh, all we all uh, will uh, share this responsibility and do the good work in future thank you